Hello. Hello people. Yeah, I'm just here. Um, some of these tea bowls that I recently made and they are sort of, they're going dry as you can see, but they're not fully dry. So now's the time. Uh, I'm just trying to do some um, type of uh, decoration with white slip and a coarse brush. Um, so I've got here, this is white slip which is actually about, got about 15%. It's actually, what is it? Hang on a minute. It's white slip, it's got, I can't remember if I made it up with kaolin and, um, no, I'll tell you what it is. <laughs> I remember now. It's porcelain slip with about 15% um, 15% felspar added to it. So what I'm doing is, and you can have a go at this. Um, so I've got there a bucket of the, the slip and then I've got a, a brush, it's like a homemade brush. You've seen me uh, with it before, it's a bristle brush that I've made held together with some zip ties. You can, I've done a clip actually on making these. Um, so, yeah, um, yeah, just trying to, this is quite nice as a, um, as a type of decoration that you can then um, bisque fire right after this and then uh, apply wood ash afterwards or perhaps a sort of like a, a clearish glaze. So I'm just playing around with with ideas at the moment here. So I wet the brush you see. If you don't wet the brush it's, it, it gets all clogged because the white slit will dry on the end of your brush you see and then it will get all cloggy. So yeah Maybe I'll just dip this in. So just once sort of dipped on the outside kind of thing. Like that. You don't want to hit it with a brush immediately after you've dipped it. It's best just to let it... So you can see there It's, it's wet and shiny, isn't it? So, yeah, you just use your creativity. This, I, I just would do some kind of uh, simple um, strokes. Now it's just beginning to dull a bit. It's not quite so shiny. That's about the right time, I think, to, to hit it. So holding the brush and just try and be free about it, you see. Yeah. I think I left this one touch long, just a touch long. It looks a little bit, <laughs> it looks a bit rough, doesn't it? Um, but trying to get a little bit of feeling of movement going there, you see. Yeah, important to get, you see it dries on the end of the brush and then you don't get the definition of the bristles. So, so you can dip it and then use the brush to scratch through or use the brush as a brush as it were, like I'm going to try and do now.
at this stage of the game it can look a little bit a little bit unwieldy a little bit a little messy perhaps Just try and think of, you see, we all, all the time we're very used to trying to have to make everything look perfect, you see. It's a mistake. We don't want to do that necessarily. So sometimes, make a mess. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, uh, I, when I look at that, you see, when you look at that, what does it remind you of? Does it remind you of anything? Well, when I look at that, I think, yeah, well, Hey, that maybe looks like a sky that I sometimes see, you know? Yeah, I remember a book once called The Angry Sea in the Sky. But anyway, yeah, so the sky can sometimes look full of streaks, can't it? Sort of like movement, something happening up there, swirls, you see? So sometimes the, this is very much creating, let's say, a backcloth, you see? To which you now, later, we're going to add maybe something else on top. So this isn't in itself the, the finished article. That's what, you, that's what I'm trying to say. Simon, you talk to us in riddles. How can we understand such things? Nah. It's very simple. And that's the secret. Keep it simple. All right. Don't become... Now somebody said, well, I thought it was a good saying actually, Possibly he was a Japanese potter. But I think I, I, it was said that he said, you know, when you're making pots, leave room, leave room as it were, for the, uh, leave, leave room for the clay to speak. Leave room for the, the glaze to speak. Leave, leave a bit of leeway for the kiln to speak through the clay, if you see what I mean, the firing, the effect of the firing to come forth through the pot. I think, I think that's actually a really good... So we don't have to get it all cut and dried at this stage. Give a little, leave a little bit of margin there so that, you know, let things happen in their natural way. That's why we like doing pottery, isn't it? That's why we, you know, it's that surprise that comes out of the kiln that you know if you knew exactly how every pot was going to come out of the kiln every time you put it in and you knew it was going to come out, you know, in a certain way with the glaze absolutely perfect and, and no variation, do you think that we would lose our interest in this creative art? I think we possibly would. You see, it's the, el it's the element of the unknown. And that's why we need to, when you make pots, allow a little bit of little room there, a little margin for let things happen in their way, you know. Don't be too, I don't know, too hard and fast in your, your thinking, your approach, you know. Okay, I've done another one, another one like that with slip all over. And I noticed it's not done on the inside, okay? So sometimes I do this, I, you see how I turn my wrist around so then as I do the decoration, I can un, I can turn the pot round, you see? So I want to turn it up round that way first to start with. And then as I go, I can... Clean that brush off, because... Yeah, actually. 
Yeah, you haven't got much room for dilly-dallying, you know, you've got to get on with it. Yeah, like a bit of a background, you see. Anyway. Okie doke. Well, let's put those, put them down. And, um, yeah, why don't I show you some of those things I was doing the other day, just briefly. Just show you those there. Okay, now over here I was doing some wax, that's doing a wax resist decoration and then applying a red slip over the top. So these are just spontaneous, pretty much off the cuff, um, uh, decorations using the wax and then dipping, dipping uh, into the red iron oxide slip. So, yeah, be creative. And then here, just on the end, remember I was doing those uh, butter keepers. Um, so yeah, just different variations on the on that on that butter keeper. These are trimmed up and fitted now. Um, put in the the lines to help you to grip it. This one's sort of radial, radially fluted on the top. That's just a plain one, or plain top anyway. That one is, uh, these actually a little bit, I'll be honest with you, I'm a little bit thin here. In fact, that one there, that one is a bit better. It's a bit deeper, the lid, you see what I mean? This one's a little bit thin. I, I, I think that particular one anyway, that one is, okay. That one I just left like that, leaving the um, uh, the cut-off wire spiral mark there. So, yeah. What else? Yeah, just a couple of bats out here drying. These are plaster bats, and I've been drying off some clay, and then I, I just put them back out in the sun to um, to dry out the the moisture that they've absorbed. And um, then I'll put out a bit more clay. I've got some clay here that is... Well, I've got some dry clay here in the box, which is just shards of dry um, raw clay. And then in here I've got a, got a bucket going here, you know, not a bucket, a, well, a bowl bucket, whatever you want to call it, uh, with the... I put a bit of water and vinegar in here and then I, I add into it, you see. So I'm keeping that on the go all the time. And, and then it gives me nice soft clay to, to work with. Yeah. So, oh yeah, while we're at it, while we're here, just wanted to say, I've been, I have been posting up on my Facebook page, you might have seen it. Um, but I just wanted to say that the wheel here this wheel we're having made uh, again, I'm taking orders if anyone is interested, but we, what we are going to do is offer the wheel with the treadle not only here on the left side but also I can now offer it with the treadle bar 
so the treadle would be here on the right side all right so it's the exact mirror opposite mirror image opposite of that one there with the that's the left-handed one the right also on the right so uh, if that interests you if you're somebody who's been holding back because you thought well I don't really like the wheel because it's got it on the left side and I'm I prefer to throw with the wheel going around the opposite way well now you can so if that interests you please get in touch and you can visit me at simonleachpottery.com and um, yeah if you need any more information about the wheel then don't hesitate get in touch and um, you know I recommend this wheel um, it's a very good wheel solidly made with maple cherry walnut marine ply stainless steel tray liner aluminium wheel head built to last forever <laughs> literally anyway hey thanks for watching and uh, have a go at doing some of that um, this white slip uh, it has a name they call it hacker me but um, whatever you want to call it I mean it's just white slip with a, a bristle brush that you make up yourself um, it needs to be a little bit, a little bit, a little bit stiff, bristly. You see, um, this is made up. This is like a corn from a corn broom, I think. There's a video of me making this actually. How to make a hackamy brush? You can check that out. Hey, folks! Thanks a lot. I'll see you. Keep practicing. Dee, 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 dee. Bye bye.